All right, hey, it's Paul from Tiny Cash Buyers, and we're here at the uh, Back Bay in Boston, near Boston University. Very, very attractive area for Chinese students. Uh, we have Harvard University here, Boston University, MIT. All the dorm dormitories are very close by. Great, great area. And also, today's vlog is a bonus because we're also gonna talk about New York. We just got back from New York, and we were so busy we didn't have time to shoot a video. So New York and Boston have a lot in common and there's a lot of things that you need to know that you can use in any city like this to attract Chinese investors. So let's move on to the next. So here's the good news. The good news is as a, as a real estate agent in a major gateway city like Boston, New York, these kind of cities are just insane. The opportunities are just enormous. In, 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 right here in Quincy, uh, this area here, uh, we in Marina Bay. This Marina Bay. Yep, Marina Bay. In Marina Bay, we had my brother lives here. Actually, he's shooting the video right now. And in Marina Bay, this area, Quincy, there was almost no Chinese when he moved in here. And now, over in Wollaston, it's like basically pure Chinese. That whole area. And down here in Quincy now is many, many Chinese uh, living here and they purchase real estate and they're coming to the bars, they're coming to the restaurants, they're going to the schools. So in these areas, it's almost like when you have an airplane with a with a wind at your back. Because the wind is the wind is that the Chinese want to come to this area. I mean they're dying, they dream of coming to the Boston or New York or London. You know, they dream of it. So you can hit them with every possible tool that you can think of. So for example, everything we talk about, like business groups, you definitely you can look up online, Chinese business groups in Boston, and go ahead and see if you can get involved in any of these groups. You know, hit a meeting, find out who's the leader, try to network in that group. Now, of course, you have to add value. You have to bring your best game. You have to bring your A game when you talk to a business group. Because a real estate agent, you have to be able to offer something to the people. And they have to trust you before they would ever give you a referral for a new family. But if you do it right, and if you network in these groups, it can be very, very profitable and very, very good for the group too. Because they also need trustworthy agents who understand the market, who understand the education system, who can help them with you know pretty much everything that a family needs. Right? Uh, so business groups. Social media. Social media in Boston and New York. I just left New York. I was in New York uh, last yesterday and we were there for four days and every time I use the WeChat app I look on the look around function and it's just like hundreds of Chinese in my area within a few hundred meters of me. You can see if you look on the look around feature you can see how many Chinese in the area and I was chatting with people right away in New York. Just like crazy. Same thing here in Boston. If you go to WeChat and you install WeChat app, it's free on your phone and you search the look around feature, you can find people that are in your area in a city like Boston. It's just crazy. Last night I was walking Boston Common. We got a great picture of the sunset last night. And I was walking Boston Common and I, I swear half the people walking on the street were Chinese and they were all college age students coming to the schools around this area are like MIT, Harvard University, Boston University, Tufts. Uh, what are the other ones? Boston College. Boston College. Wellesley. Wellesley. Bentley. Bentley. Leslie. Leslie. <laughs> Wentworth. Wentworth. <laughs> it goes on and you on. Know, it just goes on and on. So you have an enormous opportunity because in each of those schools, you have thousands of Chinese who want to attend, probably hundreds of thousands that want to attend the thousands that will attend. And all of them, most of them, will usually buy a house, they'll buy an apartment. They want something, basically their thinking is this, they want a free university education. So they buy the house with the plan that uh, the, the, the rent, or the, the rent and the mortgage will cover, will ba basically balance themselves out after 10 years, and the capital gains will cover the cost of their education. So that's what they're thinking, right? They're gonna think, I'm gonna buy an apartment, keep it for 10 years, and then I can either rent it out afterwards, or what they're often thinking is their children aren't even born yet. So they're gonna buy the property, they're gonna rent it out, they need someone to do the services, they need somebody to do the property management, right? So there's another opportunity for you, as if you have, let's say you have 10 Chinese families who've purchased apartments, and you're doing property managing on 10 apartments, you all of a sudden have a great network of Chinese, you have knowledge of the market, you have income every month, stable income, and you have a great network of Chinese that are moving to America. So that's, that right there is the key thing. People that are moving tend to have more friends that are moving. People that are in jail have friends in jail, right? People that are investment bankers have friends that are investment bankers. And Chinese families that move to an area to go to a very good school 
guaranteed went to a good school in China. They have a great network, and everybody back at that their hometown and their school, they all know the Jongs went to Boston and that they were successful. And they talk to them, they ask them questions. How do I go to Boston? What do I have to do to get in school? What are the laws there? How can I buy a house? Uh, you know, they ask about crime, they ask about the food, they ask about all the things that you know that you can help them with, right? So, networking, the education opportunities are insane. They're absolutely fantastic, and you can really help people in this one because these are smart kids. They're smart kids, they want to go to a hot top school. You know, they're some of the more pleasant people to deal with in the world. You know, people are getting master's degrees. You know, these are these are these are people I love to deal with myself. Um, so you got the education angle, you got the business business group angle, you have the education angle, and here's the big one, the tourism angle. In the next uh, what is it? By 2018 or 16, I think it was, must be 18. 2018, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce estimates there will be 100 million Chinese coming to America every year to travel. So there's only 300 something million Americans. So that's one third of America's population every year will visit to, to travel the U.S. and a lot of them to settle down in the future. So, if you're in Boston, if you're in New York, it's absolutely a dream because you can provide so much opportunity, you can have so much information to these people that are traveling, right? Like the bars here, the, they, they're, they're networking with people, the restaurants. There's, you have an opportunity to, for example, let me give you one idea. Is we're here in a bar, we're we're here in uh, what's the name of this bar? Water, water club. Water club. We're in the water club, right? In Marina Bay, and we asked, we talked to the manager about shooting from the second floor because the second floor isn't open. Uh, the, only the first floor down here is full of people, but the second floor is not open. But why did he let me up here? He let me up here because we're dealing with Chinese investors. Everybody wants to deal with Chinese investors. So your local business groups, your local business owners, whether they have furniture stores, travel companies, they're selling computers, they're selling uh, whatever, most of them, or I would say a very significant portion, are interested in getting Chinese customers. So as an agent, you talk to them. You say, "We're, we're, you know, we're dealing with Chinese people." Blah blah blah. There's a lot of business opportunities that you can make by dealing with these owners, and they can help you. You can help them. They might say something like, "Hey, look, bring all your new people over. We'll give them a free dinner. Uh, you know, we'll give them a free dinner on the house. Show them the area. Take them out on the boat. Something like that's awesome because when you're doing a showing." You know, I've had this happen a lot. You could, you're doing a showing, and if you get an offer for a free dinner, it's fantastic, and a free boat ride. Because you take them here, you take them out on the boat, they have a great time, you have a great time, the owner's all happy, he has a great relationship with you, and now you have the, the buyers, of course, who are super happy because one of the agent takes them out on a free boat ride. So there's things that you can do that are creative to bring happiness and bring the business community together. So, social media. Like I said, in this area, there are tons of Chinese who are now already traveling here. They're students. They're, like I said, you know, I don't know what the exact numbers are in Boston, but it's getting pretty crazy. There's still kind of a big racing boat. Yeah, it's a. Uh, there's a lot going on in this area. Whether it's uh, what, what is there in this area? There's so much to do for like outdoor activities and for, like, arts and Cape Cod, Maine, and New Hampshire. Yeah. What is it, New Hampshire? Cape Cod, New Hampshire, Cape Cod, New Hampshire. There's so many nice things around this area. You have Rhode Island. Rhode Island. I just drove. From, I just drove from New York to get here, and that was only about a four-hour drive. And we're down here in Boston, right? So you have all these things to, to, to I would say, to introduce to your Chinese uh, buyers, right? Your potential Chinese buyers. So it's a blockbuster. Boston, New York, you're in a very special position. I expect you to be firing on all cylinders, whether it's social media, business groups, networking, uh, working with other business business owners. What was the other things we talked about? Education is fantastic. We're doing an education webinar soon. We're going to teach you all about getting families that are sending their children to study. I highly recommend you and you. Uh, Add on to our free webinar to teach you about Chinese education investors. And we'll have the link down in the video below. So sign up. It'll be a free one-hour presentation with a real tiger mom who will tell you exactly the mindset and the way she thinks and how she got her kids into good schools in America and how Chinese mothers think. This is invaluable. So this is the kind of people you'll deal with. So thank you very much for watching a beautiful sunset. And we're getting ready to have a nice... Uh, seafood dinner here in Boston. 
and uh, I hope you enjoyed the view. Thanks for watching. And as usual, subscribe to our YouTube channel below on the red button. Hit subscribe and you'll get all our new videos. And go to ChinaCashBuyers.com and put in your email and you'll be on our list to get the free Chinese uh, buyer mini course, uh, which will teach you a ton of things about selling to Chinese investors. So Paul Salem from Boston, Massachusetts, signing off.